Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Macon Stuff. So I've been looking for Ninja Turtle figurines since last year with every intention of replacing their little mini weapons with real weapons. So I visited all the toy shops in my area and I couldn't find any. And that as it happens is how this Black Panther video came to life. Simply because I couldn't find any Ninja Turtles. So last week Friday myself and a friend uh, took to the shops again to see if any of the shops had perhaps received any stock. And surprise, surprise, uh, there was nothing. So another friend of mine mentioned that he had a Ninja Turtle at his house, which actually came from his childhood. Here he is, uh, Michelangelo. He actually looks pretty good for his age, other than the fact that his ponytail has fallen off. But you work with what you have. So today I'm going to be making a set of mini nunchucks, real ones, with brass and wood for Michelangelo. I hope he likes it, and hopefully you too. So let's do this.
Well, there we go, guys. It's done. And judging by the smile on his face, I do believe Mikey likey. <laughs> But all jokes aside, um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, this build has been a long time coming, as I mentioned before. I've been wanting to do a Ninja Turtle weapon build for quite some time now. It's been a bit of a rush to try and get this done by today, which is Thursday, as I'm going on a bike rally tomorrow morning. And I must say, I'm very much looking forward to it. To those of you that don't ride motorcycles and haven't been on the open road with a motorbike before, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But it's a lot like therapy, and I just love that feeling that you get when you're on your own, on your motorcycle. On the open road it just sort of feels like you don't have a care in the world eh? the only thing you're thinking about yourself and your motorbike there are some more smaller details that i would have liked to have added to these specifically being the three pins um, that you saw in the picture but uh, once i got to this point i didn't have that much time left and i was frankly terrified of drilling three holes through these and totally ruining this piece so i decided to leave them as is i think they look great so that's that so I know most people don't really stick around for these little outros that I shoot, but uh, I shoot them anyway. But for those of you that are still watching, there's just something I'd like to mention. I get the feeling that some people tend to misunderstand what my channel is about. You know, I sometimes get a lot of comments about people saying that my music is too loud and the music is distracting and I don't show enough of the steps that I take throughout a project and all of my mistakes and you know, things like that. At the end of the day, this channel um, is not a how-to channel. I'm not trying to teach you how to make the things that I'm making here. I'm merely trying to inspire you to make things of your own, specifically my kids. You know, they might not know it now, but pretty much everything that I do here is an attempt at inspiring them, uh, showing them that if you're just willing to try something, uh, even if it is for the first time, there's just so much that you can do uh, and most people don't even realize it. I firmly believe that if every single single person in the world was creative and made things anything the world would just be a better place you know if everyone in the world is busy being creative they're not going to have time for all the other negative stuff that uh, people tend to get up to so my mission is to inspire as many people as I possibly can so that being said many people also lately sending me messages asking me what the price is of the things that I made and if they can buy them and stuff like that at the end of the day I don't make any of my pieces to sell them I know I could possibly if I was in this for the money choose any two or three of the things that I made refine the process uh, make them even better and if mass produced I could probably make a fair bit of money off of them but that's not the point and that's not the kind of person that I am I truly despise doing the same thing over and over and over again that's pretty much what I've been doing for the first 35 years of my life so for me to go and decide that I'm going to take these nunchucks and I'm going to make 200 of them and I'm going to start selling them it's pretty much just going to turn this into a job and you no know, this isn't a job to me this is something that I truly love doing I love making things starting with raw materials having an idea in your mind and ending up with something like this. There are just few things in life that are as satisfying and gratifying as what that is. And my hope is for many other people to experience that too. You know, it's hard for me to put a price on something like this because when you start talking money, you know, nothing that anyone could offer me seems to be rewarding enough to justify letting go of this piece. You know, for me, it would be much more rewarding to give this to someone special as a gift. So I'm not relying on selling any of my products to try and make a living my dream my end goal is to have youtube and the ad revenue generated from it support myself my channel hopefully one day even my family you know at the moment my wife is the one who is out there grafting working hard it would be my greatest dream to get to a point where i can say to her take a year off take two years off because now macon's making the bacon <laughs> You know, that's the dream, and I know that if I continue working hard and doing my best to put out the best content that I possibly can, I know for sure it's going to happen eventually. So I hope that wasn't too much of an overshare. I always tend to have so many things that I want to say uh, when I do the intros and outros to my videos, but when I come and sit down here, most of that just disappears. But this is something that I really felt that I wanted to share. So all that being said, um, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and sharing with your friends. And have a lovely weekend. And if everything goes well, I'll be back here next week with another video. So uh, till next time, keep making stuff.